This is the problem. Uh, one year ago, that's when Biden was inaugurated. What was your reaction to seeing him become the 46th president of the United States? I was pretty hopeful. I was happy to have a Democratic president again and someone who has been involved with politics for a pretty long time. Actually, I was happy. I'm not going to lie. I was happy <laughs> because it wasn't Trump. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the better of two evils, you know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was pleased overall. After seeing what he's been able to do over his first year in office, do you think he's doing a good job so far? I haven't really followed up on what he's been like doing specifically. As far as anything standing out, I really can't name something specifically. Um, I'm gonna be, I don't keep super close on that, but I just think the overall like having a positive and just an overall like, good person in the office. I haven't heard that many good things that he's done in office. I honestly have no idea. No idea? No. I was watching Tim Pool and he said that the Democrat base is, is broken up into two sections. One section is the insane, where they are willing to strip away your rights, and the other portion are the ignorant. This would be that portion. These people have no idea why they are excited that Biden won, allegedly. <laughs> yes, we got him in there. I was super excited that day. Well, well what do you like that he's done so far? Well, you know, I don't really follow. I don't, I don't really know what he's done. But you know, he was the lesser of two evils. No, he was not. These people are willing to vote in anything as long as it has a D in front of it. This person could be a serial killer. Don't matter, got a D, I'm down for it. It's ignorance, which leads me into my next thing, the John Lewis bill. Now Democrats are going around saying how we're, we're fighting for, for them not to be able to suppress the votes. Well, how are they suppressing it? Voter ID laws. So you think it's voter suppression for people to identify themselves? You're telling me the basic necessity to be a functioning citizen in America? That black people can't provide it, so therefore it's voter suppression? See, it's not that. It's really the underlining thing that they're after. They want to federalize our elections. They want to be the ones in control of it. That in the United States, Democrats have lost their party advantage and more people now identify as Republicans. The desperation is becoming clear. With some Democrats saying we must pass this quote unquote voter rights legislation, otherwise we won't win, which is a strange thing to admit. That's right. They know that they are losing their base. They are losing their grip and that Americans are waking up and we are not down for this nonsense. So what must we do in order to maintain power? We've got to be the one in control of our election. Uh, look, I think that uh, everyone is going to have to take a hard look at where they want to be uh, at this moment in history as we're looking at efforts across the country to, uh, pr to prevent people from being able to exercise their fundamental rights. Prevent people from being able to exercise their fundamental rights. Go ahead. And it's the ignorant that will sign on to this. It's the ignorant that will hear the John Lewis bill and be like, yes, voter suppression. No, it's not. It's about federalizing elections.